another day in the fish room. I'll be working with the tuxedo koi guppies today and moving some other fish around. And I usually find some other trouble to get into. So let's get started. So here are the tuxedo koi guppies. If you've been following for a while, you know that uh, months and months ago, I ordered a fry pack and I, I ordered eight, uh, only six made shipping. And I ended up with four males and two females and then lost one female uh, within a week of being able to sex them out. So not a great ratio. So I had this uh, breeder net here that I kept the female in because it was four males attacking her all the time. And she finally dropped some fry and those fry have grown up and I'm starting to sex out these fry. So I think it's time to start culling out the ones that don't, don't look right and saving all the females that I can. Uh, for some reason, it seems very male heavy in here. Uh, I've noticed this with other people on YouTube uh, that there's a lot of males versus females in the stream. Could be a coincidence, but um, something that I'm experiencing as well. You can see um, that male there, two of them actually, you got that guy there. Not really looking like the strain's supposed to, so I have to take those guys out. This tank is on the bottom, so I don't really get to look at it this way too much. Uh, it's more of a top-down view. And I do like these guys, the top-down view. They look really cool. I have these uh, things that I made out of straw that kind of uh, keep the floating plants out so that I could see the fish come up and then when I'm feeding, uh, the food doesn't get stuck on top of the plants and the plants start to die and starts to smell. So that's a solution that I saw online. Working for me great. So here are the guys that didn't make the cut. You can see that obviously they're not uh, looking like the males that I need them to of, the, of this line. Still good looking guppies. Um, if my store was open, you know, I'd probably just bring these to the store and put them in the fancy guppy tank because these are healthy, good looking guppies. They're just not the strain that I'm selling. So they've got to go. Right below them, very excited, are the pair of Philippine blue angelfish who aren't used to me being right in front of the tank like this but aren't scared at all, very interactive. Um, love angelfish for that, how they have their little personalities and they don't care what's going on. I'm banging on the tank, I'm down here working and they're just all excited and want to be fed. So they're cool. And this tank right next to them, I figured I'd share this funny story. This tank has my Gary Lang Bozeman Eye Rainbow Fish that I had spawned. Uh, they're pretty hard to see right now because the angelfish that are in here are taking the focus. Uh, the ones that are in here were from a spawn that happened when I was away and the person watching the fish room did the best to save as many as they could and they did a really good job but they only saved a couple so they were too small to go in with the other angelfish uh, so they got put in here and they're growing up nice. But I've been looking for probably over a week now for my cutters that cut the uh, airline tubing and waterline tubing right in the back there on the sponge filter are the cutters. I was looking behind, I knew I left them right here because I just was shortening some of the lines here and it didn't occur to me to think to look inside the tank. I was looking behind. I was looking all over the fish room for days, but no, it's just, just sitting in the back there. Uh, I was able to see it now that I'm down here. Got the tank set up here the way I want it and figured I'd just talk a little bit about it and how I run this setup. So it's eco-complete substrate with jungle val and just a sponge filter in the back. Uh, this tank wasn't set up to be like this. This was kind of thrown together. Like the jungle val is not even like fully planted. Uh, the original plants I just put here to hold them because if you saw another day in the fish room where we took out all that jungle val from the 40 gallon, uh, we had buckets of it. I just put it in here and it rooted itself and now has spread nicely. This hang on breeder mesh uh, is what I'm using right now. I like the hang on breeder box method better. Uh, I just don't have enough of them right now. So I use it in this tank. I put like the biggest female that I have, it looks like she's about to drop. So probably that one um, sits in there until she has her fry. This is all frog bit and floating water spray that 
provides a lot of cover in the net so that she doesn't eat the babies right away. But it looks like with so much going on, we're still having, I'm surprised, still fry growing up in this tank, especially with the number of uh, adult fish in here, the number of males that are in here. But um, really enjoying this now, and I'll probably uh, eventually do the hang-on breeder box, but for right now, the, the net inside works just fine. Looking at this 20 gallon here, you can see it's covered in diatom algae something that I usually don't have a problem here in the fish room. Um, usually I have the snails clean up. You can see the snails, I love the snails for their cleanup. You can see their little trails there, um, the patterns of them eating the algae. And in all the tanks that I have the snails or bristlenose, I don't have any algae problems at all. Occasionally I'll get like a string algae, um, like this tank here that is just out of control. I'm leaving it because I'm redoing the whole tank anyway and the fish uh, seem to really like it like that. But uh, this tank, for some reason, no matter what I did, uh, if you've been following for a while, you know I had the reticulated hill stream loach breeding tank in here, and uh, that was covered in algae too. I had rainbows in here. Kind of slower growing plants in here, so I figured that might be the issue. Couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, yesterday I was here uh, in the fish room in a time, in the middle of the afternoon, sometime I'm usually not in the fish room. And we do have one window right there shining directly on this tank. So for part of the day, this is getting direct sunlight. So even the side of the glass here uh, is covered in algae. So there's the problem right there. It took me months to figure out. I just had to, it's funny what you see when you're in the fish room or by your tanks at a time when you normally aren't. So I'm usually working during that time, but I wasn't. So figured that out. These have the uh, Snow White uh, Platinum Guppies in here. The ones that uh, really can't find the females in the US. Haven't had any fry from these guys yet. Haven't really um, tried too hard. I figured that they'd grow out some more, but I don't even see the females uh, filling out too much. So I might deworm them a little bit just in case. Um, feed extra heavy, maybe put an auto feeder on here. I was going to originally, never got around to it. Let me clean this up uh, so we can get a better look at them. Got the tank all cleaned up here, did a big water change. We can actually see the guppies now. And I'm gonna make an effort to fertilize this tank. The pogo stem and Stellaris octopus in the back needs to grow out more. Maybe they're having fry and uh, eating them right away. These females are definitely adults, old enough to have fry um, and they look thin. You know, maybe after deworming, it'll be a little bit better. But with the fertilizer, I have to make sure that I fertilize regularly. It's really hard for me with all these tanks to fertilize on a regular basis. Um, I randomly do. A lot of people ask me what fertilizer I use. I use the Thrive fertilizer, and I get that on Amazon. Uh, I used Easy Green for a long time. I used it for a year, and it was really good. Uh, then I switched to Thrive because uh, I'm able to sell Thrive in my store and I wanted a product that I could recommend to my customers. So I've been using Thrive for a year and a half now and I fertilize all these tanks with Thrive. Um, I try to do it regularly, but you know, I'll, it's lucky if I do it once a week, but it works really well for me. Uh, my honest opinion is they're both equally as good. I don't like one more than the other. Um, I just like that I could sell Thrive uh, in my store and I know that it works for everybody. So that was another day in the fish room. Those tuxedo koi guppies will probably be on the website pretty soon for those of you who've been asking. Subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you in the next one.